Hey guys, this is Chris from Chris Production. I bring you as a review today on the new Clone Troopers vs. Jordica Battle Pack. So, um, let's just get started here. This set, I bought at Toys R Us Canada for $15.99. Steep price, and it's got a tiny little box. I'm gonna compare it to the A-Wing, or actually, I'll compare it to the ATRT box, because I'm pretty sure in a month or whatever, you guys will all own an ATRT because it's such an awesome set. I'm just gonna say that because it's like my favorite set. And it's probably only gonna be 20 bucks US. That's an estimate. It could be 22 or something, but it was only 25 here, and that surprised me like crazy. That this set was 25 bucks only, and that A Wing was 30, and then <laughs> Z95 Head Under was 65. So, like, oh snap, that's expensive. But I like that set too. Um, it's probably one of my least favorite sets of the line that I know of. So, I'm gonna start with the Droidicas. Uh, they are cool looking droids or mechs. They are barely accurate at all whatsoever to Star Wars Droidicas, so yes. They are very similar to the Sniper Droidica as seen in the ATRT. Awesome. Another awesome benefit of getting the set. Um, smaller than it though, but it has, if you guys own the two sets, which won't be too hard to since they're both very, um, they're a lot less expensive than other sets. Um, you guys will easily be able to do the comparison that I'm doing right now. Um, just very similar in the pieces and the way that the droids are made up. So I'll let you guys discover that on your own. Um, well, you guys probably already saw it too. So next these clone troopers. Now, something that's awesome is they're new. Um, new printing, new chest printing, and new helmet printing. The helmets are the same mold as the Clone Wars clone. And these are from episode 2, not from the Clone Wars, by the way. So, um, let's get on to it. So we have the Sergeant. That's what LEGO calls him. He has a silver visor, as you can see, and he has olive green markings. Printing, and then he has four olive green dots on his chest. And then I'll show you the next one. And he's just a regular white phase 1 clone. And he's got the same kind of weird printing. Weird to me now, because I don't not used to it then again I called this clone weird looking when it first came out um, yeah called a lot of things weird and then it's like becomes natural like Clone Wars will be one Clone Wars figures looked like the most disgusting figures ever when they first got glimpses of them and it's like oh these are pretty cool well once you watch the Clone Wars and stuff anyways so here's a point that I cannot forget these clones have brand new faces comparing them to the old clone faces uh, single sided so not that much else to that let's get the helmets right here uh, next on to the mini command center very weird <laughs> oh I think it's supposed to be like the forward command center on Geonosis but it's like puny and apparently it's used as like a tank <laughs> so you kinda got your radar dish here and here's the feature you guys are totally gonna love this flick fire missile Oh yeah, you see the range on that? All like, three stud range. Beautiful. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Anyways, um, there's these flaps on the side here, and we can fold those up so it's more like a tank, apparently, or a vehicle. I have no clue how that works. There's room for some guns there. And just that. And you put a clone there. And fly it around. And actually, I think it's meant to be a command center. But I can't really tell from the box. Um, but it's supposed to be a can command center because I think because it has like it doesn't have any of those smooth tiles on the bottom, like the um, old Republic battle pack speeder thing has, which I'm very disappointed in. Not the figures, so the figures are amazing. Um, yeah. So that's the set. Um, I don't know if it's worth your fifteen dollars or whatever you guys are gonna pay for it, but um, I don't know. It's up to you guys if you want to get it. I would much rather go with the ATRT. I know I personally like that set way better. Um, the 501st Clone Trooper, I really like that. He's awesome. And then you get the Commando Droid Captain and the Sniper Droidica and Yoda. You get Yoda. That's right. For probably 20 bucks US. So, and 25 Canadian. So anyways, I just gotta thank you guys for watching this and please like the video, thumbs up, and
I mean, thumbs up the video and subscribe or whatever. Um, subscribe for more reviews. Apparently, Toys R Us is releasing sets f earliest in Canada for some reason all of a sudden. So I ended up getting the Galaxy Squad sets, being like one of the first people on um, the internet to review it, like in person. And um, same with these sets. But these sets um, have been released in other countries, just not publicly kind of shown. So anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Become subscribed. See you guys there. Bye.